Yeah, sorry I'm late. My cat uh, puked all over <laughs> the rug. My wife's gone away to work. Yeah. So she's away for five days. She's never been away before. And the kids are 15. So she's never been away uh, leaving them on with me. And it's she's not even been away. I, I took her to the airport this morning at 4 o'clock we left. Jesus. And it's, Yeah, I'm tired. So I'm probably going to be shit today. Mm. Um, but uh, So she's only been gone for about six hours. And the cat's puked. And one kid was late for school. And uh, <laughs> always when you're tired. Oh, always. yes. So it's a, it's not a great start. She's only been away for a few hours. Mate. And we've got five more days of it. It's like the universe oh. knows. The universe goes, oh, you're going to be on your own? All right. Have yeah. all of these to deal with. <laughs> here, you, here you go, old man with no life skills. Yeah. No, oh, you've been cushioned this whole time. You didn't even realize. In this comedy podcast, the people are represented by two separate yet equally unimportant comedians. This guy. I thought Flat Earth might be something you'd get on board with. And this guy. That'll show the BBC what they're missing out on. <laughs> These are their stories. Silence in the court. Oh, what was I? What was I thinking of the uh, the other day about um, when you die? Right. Mm -hmm. You you either. Well, what do you think happens? You either go to a, like a afterlife and it's pretty sick yeah yeah i'd like that to be true um or you become space dust so you don't really die but you don't you you're not conscious of it i don't know there's i think that one i that think because you break down and i think your energy goes up but it goes back out into the universe and you just become part of it again until mm. some other chemical reaction bonds you to something else and you become part of something else a star or a, or a planet <clears throat> it's more it's quite likely to be a uh, star well yeah. not no well um well what is the most of the universe made up of is uh, just particles so it's probably <laughs> just going to be particles in the space between a star i think you got to be i think you i think you're lucky if you get to be in a star yeah so other than that you're just floating around david bowie's definitely in a star Definitely, definitely. Well, didn't Moby, wasn't there someone Moby saying we are all made of stars? Moby? Was, was it Moby? Do you remember Moby? Yeah, I remember Moby. He used to steal people's songs. Did redo he? Redo them a bit and then send them back out. They were all like American, black American music. And then he'd steal like clips and then he'd loop it and send it out. What? Why, why has my heart feel so oh, bad? Oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I think that's someone else's song. Isn't that what he did? I don't know. Sampling. It's called sampling. That's what I gave the kids up on do. music. <laughs> it was, I found it too emotional, music. It was making me feel too much. You don't like to feel, do you, Tony? No, I try and run. I'm trying to run from death. <laughs> that's what I, I'm trying to avoid it. The opposite of what you're supposed to. Hey, is it, when I raise my voice, does it uh, get all squelchy? It does in my earphones. It doesn't sound like that to Pop. me. Sounds lovely to us. Yeah, yeah it sounds great. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. There you go. That that didn't. That does a bit, that but that's bit. yeah. When oh, you're right okay. up against it. <laughs> <laughs> when you shout into it like that, it does. <laughs> I'm new to podcasting. Wow, you're taking uh, to it like a duck to water. Well, it's all about. Uh, I d uh, I've got a lot of narcissism, and I thought I shouldn't be leaving this behind. Like I need to get that out. Yeah. The narcissism. <laughs> Sorry. Every time we press record, I start to cough. <laughs> Do we? You just called it. You were just saying how professional you are at this, Rich, and then you go. I don't know how. I don't know what happened to me. Oh God, it's ridiculous. Do, do we? Do we video these as well, or is it just going out on the audio? It's video as well, mate. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll dress up a little bit better next time. <laughs> you already have. You've got your lovely bandana on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not much else I can do this close to the fucking thing. Not really. Let's put a In... tie on. In the linen cupboard, you know, <laughs> it's lovely oh, in the linen cupboard. Yeah, there's <laughs> the, <laughs> that's where it comes up to. All that's right, funny man. Um, what well, narcissism? So that's if you're a got narcissist, a lot of that. If, if you, but are you a true narcissist if you recognise it in yourself? Um, aren't we all though? You know, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> not true. No, we oh, are. No. We have to push I, ourselves a bit with what we do. We have to be a bit. We have to be our own cheerleaders and kind of. Well, it's um, isn't what? it? Just, it's a spectrum, like everything. It's is a spectrum, it really? and we we all lie somewhere along that spectrum. 
<laughs> but that's with everything, isn't it? Like when this, when you say about when they say about the autistic spectrum, they go, yeah, yeah we're all, we're, so, but we are all on it. Like some of us all, are up the other end. Yeah, some so of us are just a little bit more sensible and logical than others. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some people are just airy fairy arty. F- Farty, <laughs> feely, feely all the time. Feely, feely acts. <laughs> and that gets us back to, yeah, you've got to try and avoid the feelings. So distraction on your phone, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Why do you want to avoid your feelings, Tone? Uh, what's, what's wrong well, with feeling the, stuff? They, they're close to death, I think. No. Yeah, you're... you're <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I've got a real scatterbrain today. That's good. I'm, I'm a real scatter, <laughs> scatter brainy today. Silly, I'm a silly Billy. <laughs> Just a silly Billy today. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Every time you breathe in, you breathe in the particle of one person or something, or yeah. someone who's dead. Their particles are floating around, and I you, suppose they would be, wouldn't they? Every breath. You pick up a dead person. I don't know about every breath you take. Is that what that song actually means? It must be. I'll be be. with you. I'll be there with you. I'll be watching you. (laughs) I'll be watching you. (laughs) He had some creepy songs. Old, old. uh, What was his real name? Old Sting. Gordon Sumner. Gordon Sumner. Ah, I thought it was Lance. Lance. I think you know that's maybe because I just wanted to say Lance (laughs) in that English way. That's the best way to say Lance. Yeah. I used to go to school with a couple of Lances, and we, were, we always knew him as Lances, and then I came to England, and it was Lance, and I thought, oh, that's way better. That's right, yeah. But you'll never get a fucking Canadian redneck to say Lance. <laughs> They're not brave like me. They're it afraid of their good. sexuality. <laughs> they, they think that'll make them homosexual. It will, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you start if speaking in a Lance, British accent. Which makes me think that they're, the, the, they're homosexuals, all of them. So death. No, we don't want to talk about that. But what were something? La- uh, Gordon Sumner. His name is not Lance. No, and he's a Geordie as well. He's from Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, you hear it Newcastle. when you when you're listening out for it. You can hear it in an interview. Yeah, but he's gotten so rich and international, hasn't he? He has. With his jetting around and saving the planet. <laughs> Isn't he? He's looking after the planet. He's looking after the planet. He's solving the planet. Me, flying about me fucking airplane, and I'm 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 fucking going around, bringing up, making sure people notice that we're fucking up the world. I can't do that. That's a tough one to do, isn't it? The old. It is Geordie. a tough one, the Geordie one. You fucking it up. You fucking it. You fucking it up, man. <laughs> oh. Most people go with yeah, why I man, why I man. They do they do that when they do the Geordie accent. Or yeah, everyone go, does that. Yeah, one. that's the or, go-to. That's it. As if that's all they say all the time. All the that's, yeah, that's all they say. My son tries to do me, and he goes, "Oh, jeez, man!" <laughs> if he wants to really fire me up, if I'm getting angry about some. Oh, jeez, man! <laughs> don't don't have a uh, don't. That's gnarly, man. They. They, I've never. They, they put words in my mouth that I've never said. <laughs> oh man, gnarly man! I've never fucking said gnarly. They wind me up. They're good at it. And now that mum's gone, I am fucked these yeah, next few days. Yeah, you're in there on your own. Cats puking everywhere. Kids are just <laughs> zero respect for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really enjoy uh, going to gigs though. I'll be like super early for a change <laughs> <laughs> to escape the mockery. Well, I, I've been flying about the planet, and I've noticed there's a lot of global raining going on. The global raining. Yeah. yeah. Actually, he's been quiet on that front now, hasn't he, for a while? Well, they all have. They all they all, they all travel the world in these super yachts and massive jets. Mm. And then they're telling us about, well, you need to you need to wash out your jars and your pots to save <laughs> yeah. the planet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, Leonardo no. DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Yeah, all of... They should all all have to work for a year in some sort of infrastructure job. Yeah. So Greta Thunberg should have to work for a year at a at a plant, you know, that produces power for. Uh, uh, work at I don't know some some coal fired plant that supplies the <laughs> electricity for a million homes or something, yeah. and then and then tell us learn about the infrastructure and then come back to us. Yes. And then you, she, she'll have some better ideas then. I think they should all get jobs, yeah, fitting solar panels to 
council yeah, estate or, houses or, or laying road yeah yeah road works that that teaches you a thing or two about oh there's yeah. a thing as a laborer me not driving in town's not going to help this is it <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot there's a bigger problem afoot yeah 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 oh but that's it, what or, I, but, yeah they could work at one of those steel plants, you know, at a foundry or whatever the hell they're called nowadays, uh, where they build the, the giant windmills so they can see the amount of steel that goes into just the base of it, let alone the, the carbon fiber blades. And then they have a little ticker beside the amount of, of carbon it takes to make one. And, they, and the little ticker's going and they're going, oh, fucking hell, that's a lot of fucking carbon. <laughs> So how many years does this need to run before it pays off its carbon footprint? 25 years. Oh, well, well after 25 years, it'll start, it'll make a net win. <laughs> yeah, but by then, it's all bent. <laughs> oh, what a terrible cynic I am today. No, it's because it's of the true. global raining. <laughs> It's really been raining a lot, isn't it? Well, I think we should all go back to how it used to be back in way back, way back oh. when we were living in caves. Well, I'm already quite a ways back. I drive a 2008 Citroen Picasso Casara. All right, mate. And that that means that um, potentially I could have had a few new cars since then if I had money. Mm. But it means that oh, I think I might have talked about this already on an episode. But it means that I have saved so much CO2 by driving the same old yeah emit emissions machine so you could <laughs> <laughs> yeah you talked about it because someone someone had a go at you about it yeah some posh posh lady yeah um <laughs> yeah I've, I've already talked about that my dog let me down by not barking at her um where were we what was today were we so supposed we're supposed to, have... to talk about neanderthals Mm. And going back, you know, what I don't know much about Neanderthals. I just we did, thought we were that. Did we? Have we talked about... We didn't talk about Neanderthals last week, first no. week? No. Well... Neanderthals or Thals? Is it Thals? Uh, Silent I think, H. Well, Tal in German. Tal. Neanderthal. Neanderthal. It's from when they found one in the Neanderthal Valley. Ah. Oh. In some part of Germany. And then they've just been finding a shitload ever since. Uh, loads of them um, in Gibraltar in the caves down there. Oh, underneath really? The, underneath the rock. There's a whole community there. And uh, basically anywhere anywhere there's a cave, <clears throat> uh, uh, loads of them turn up. But yeah, we, so that we've bred with them, didn't we? we Is that we, what we did? Yeah, we... So when... So there's there's the ones out in the east towards Asia that were called De, they called Denisovans Denisovans Denisovans, mm -hmm. and the populations over there all have a a trace of it in them there, and then European and Middle Eastern people and North African, but basically most of the people not in Sub-Saharan Africa mm. have a strong bunch of Neanderthal in them, uh -huh. but it gets quite high up in Europe. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that's why there's a lot of hair on some of us. But I don't know if that's <laughs> the case. I think the hair comes from northern climes, doesn't it? I Mind don't you, know. Gr in no, Greece, they're pretty in. hairy. I am, I'm hairy. And they're warm down there. So my, that might be an admixture of northern Europeans going down there. I don't know. But yeah, so we, we charmed them and uh, we, as we moved in and took over their areas, because they'd been here for... They'd left Africa 800,000 to 500,000 years ago. So they'd wow. been out for ages. Yeah. And then when we left Africa and started moving, well, I say we, <laughs> <laughs> humans, all humans, when we started mooching our way up, we're going, oh, this, this place is occupied, but not that occupied. There's only a few of them. And they seem to have a slow, a long gestation period. It looks like we can out children them, no problem. But before we do, Let's get it on. <laughs> and we romanced them. Really? Oh, but so we're not them. I thought we were no, them. We are partly them. Yeah. So we're our own thing and them. But they ah. think there's there's other sort of uh, humans uh, that were off the, that were in Africa as well. They have a they have more um, uh, they have more 
oh, what's the fucking word? More choice of genes. There, 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 there are many more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're better than us. <laughs> yeah, they're the best because Africa is like the cradle of it. Mm, it's and where we all people, come from. Yeah, yeah, we all come from there, and then we. Then, then, and then human populations have left at different times. It wasn't like one leaving. Neanderthals went out first, and they think ah. they sort of bumped into the Homo habilis. The what? Uh, I think they, they, yeah, another one, right. a, a, a more uh, primitive uh, hominid, and they might have mixed with them. But anyway, by the time we came, and there used to be loads of different humans apparently on Earth at the same time, loads of different types of humans. Really? Yeah, but we're only the one type of human now. Ah. That's that's my recollection. A lot of this is uh, <laughs> half remembered, and I probably also put in some of my own ideas. <laughs> like I reckon Europeans have a, a, a slightly longer spine because of the Neanderthals. I don't know if I've read that or if I if I thought that seems about right. <laughs> Just one of your old uh, back in the day when you're up all night watching documentaries. When when you watch the world's strongest man competition, you know every Christmas it used to come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you look at those guys, you think, "Fuck, there's got a fair amount of Neanderthal in them." <laughs> What's his name? Hall? De Eddie Hall? He isn't he the, the British guy? I don't know. Eddie Hall's the strongest, world's strongest man, I think. Easy. He's he's up there, but he's just. He looks like an absolute 100% Neanderthal. <laughs> but if you do your... Would you say that to him? Imagine if that door behind you swung open. I, w I would and... if there was enough space to run away. Because <laughs> he doesn't look like he's a speedster. No, no, no. Because he's just got all that muscle to move. Yeah. And he looks like a really nice guy. He's just a nice northern bloke who likes just lifting things a bit. <laughs> he lifts things a bit off the ground and then puts it back. And, and he can he... lift things that are bigger than what you could lift. Oh, yeah, and then he yeah. pulls a thing, and then he pushes a thing, and then he grabs another thing and moves it over there. He's brilliant. He's the best at that. <laughs> <laughs> Old Eddie Hall. Love him. So, yeah, no, we mixed with the, with the Neanderthals. Apparently, what was it? Uh, another half-remembered thing is somebody's DNA um, that they found on a skeleton in Romania or something, and... Uh, I forget how old it was. It wasn't that old, but they 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 worked out that 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 person was uh, one ancestor removed from a Neanderthal. So like a uh, something like a grandparent or something, and right. and they were only like twenty thousand years old. The the bones were like ten, uh, maybe it was younger, or maybe it was ten thousand years. Anyway, it was the most recent mixture they found, and it was re they, way more recent than they. Oh, wow. Had imagined so, so in some places they mixed with the Neanderthals more, re and kept that DNA alive more recently before they spread See, it out. I just thought there was just two people in Africa. Somehow <laughs> they just formed. I don't know how. Yeah. And then they had sex, and then that made more people, and then more people, and then we, oh, we haven't got enough room here. We need to spread out a bit. So they started wandering the earth. Yeah. And then, their bodies would change to adapt to the different climates that were around at the time. Yeah, so more or less. And that's what I thought. And I didn't realize there was like different kind of humans. Yeah, there was. But I think we don't have that many in us. I think we've got a Neanderthal. Um, and, and, and you, yeah, you, you, what's the thing when you, when you, when you, are you mute, the genes mutate and stuff? Not mm. necessarily to fit the environment, but something might accidentally have a benefit to the environment. Like, uh, I think pale skin helps, right? In in countries where there's not much sun, I think that's yeah. how that one that one either it was uh, evolved or it was a mutation or whatever. But they don't they don't they're not sure about eye color. Not really? Th 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 there's a lot of different theories about that. But I would have thought that would have something to do with low light. Yeah. What color eyes have you got? Blue. 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 What's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> How mad is that? See, my favourite colour is green, and my eyes are green. Oh man, that is fucking nuts. So, do you think that's, that's something? <laughs> that's the, yeah, because we, <laughs> we look at our own eyes all the time. And go, yep, <laughs> they're the best. <laughs> they must be uh, those kind of light coloured <clears throat> eyes. Maybe they're good for like seeing in the dark. <laughs> Maybe we're like moles. We've got more mole in us. I think, I think we, have. we all started out as like uh, tiny horses. Right, 
And then we moved from <laughs> tiny horses we grew and then dropped the hooves and then became like uh, one of the many monkeys. And then you just kept going like that. Yeah. Weren't we in the sea first? Weren't we in the ocean first? Yeah, I think we started as a kind of a fish that could walk, that walked onto <laughs> land. And it became a tiny horse. slowly kept coming, yeah. That's what, yeah. That must have, that took a long time to get to here. Yeah. It's taken ages. And that's why when people go, oh, it's shit, isn't it? Everything's shit. You go, do you have any <laughs> idea? <laughs> it took us, it took us four billion, five billion years to get here, minimum. Yeah. From, from the fish phase, I'm guessing. And then we, it's been at least two million years since we've been leaving the monkey world, slowly. Yeah. I mean, some of us are... <laughs> uh, haven't quite left it yet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, some of us are still a bit more monkey than others. You ever been to a Weatherspoon looking on a Saturday at me? Night? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, hey, every once in a while, though, you, if you ever see those dudes who've got like uh, extra loads of testosterone, you know, the ones that they just—that's how they've come out. Whatever stress their mum had in their in the in the womb, or combined with whatever. Uh, their ancestors needed to adapt. I don't know. You know, you just you see a uh, like a, a bare knuckle fighter or a, a mm. UFC fighter or a boxer or something come out of Georgia or <laughs> or, or Ukraine or something. And uh, not saying all Ukrainians. I'm just saying some of those boxers have got that big forehead, and they just just toss toss. That you just think, whoa, that yeah. that that's a lot of Neanderthal there. Well, my my <laughs> old uh, my old personal trainer. Andre is from Lithuania. I wouldn't say he was. I wouldn't say he was Neanderthal, but he had the. He, he had. He was a perfect mixture of a giant dude that had the head of Steve McQueen and the body of like Dolph Lundgren, but a bit smaller. Wow. And 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 he had a brain on him as well. Like he was a very. He's a very clever man. He had it all, and you just go fuck wow. if you, mate. You could just take over the world. You could. Well, old, you know old Zelensky, the president of Ukraine? Yeah. He's a wee fella. He's only about five, six. Yeah, he's, he's a tiny comedian, fella. wasn't he? Yeah. But there's there was talk there at some point that uh, Vladimir Klitschko, remember the Klitschko yeah, brothers, the boxers, giant that he dudes. might take over and be the next president. That's a guy you'd want. Not not that there's anything wrong with wee fellas. No, no, no. But, but, but <laughs> Thank you. But I'd love to see Klitschko... Big go to the UN just in a tight t shirt and representing the Ukrainians, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm going to take on Putin all on my own. <laughs> Fucking Putin, I like to get him behind the table for a meeting. Hey, Putin, you need to stop this fucking war. I come over there, break you. <laughs> I don't think Vladimir Klitschko sounds like that, but no, that sounds like a mixture of. That was alien. That was not even that was human. Everything. Go go yeah. Bordillo. Have you ever? Uh, you know that band? Do you know that band? No, you've given up on music, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You don't but know wh them. Who are they? So I think they're they're Ukrainian. Oh right, Go Go Bordello. Yeah. Ah oh, yeah. Top band. They're a good <laughs> band. But that's what you want. Someone in charge who looks like they could take care of some shit. Not saying Zelens Zelensky's been amazing, but Klitschko's just the. It's like he, when you watch programs like Reacher. Have you ever seen that? Jack Reacher, mm. this big guy, and he just goes, yeah, if you're a big fella, you can just do stuff. Well, I think in the old days, that's how you became chieftain, you know, back in the dark ages or before. And then and then it then it became, you know, now, then it got to a point where you could be a tiny little guy and still be the leader. Like, Stalin was a wee fella. Was he? He was 5'4". Jesus. Yeah. Um, Napoleon but, was only five, what was he, three? Who? Napoleon. Uh, no, he was actually taller than people think. Some say he was five nine. Really? Yeah, we've we've uh, that was a way for the British and all of his enemies to undermine him. So ah, it was part of the propaganda fuck. to rubbish him, to try and. Uh, did you see the Disney movie they made about him, or or nah. I don't know if it's Disney. Not yet. <laughs> well, a lot of people on the internet complaining about how they <laughs> made him out to be a real. A real weirdo. <laughs> they they did a number on him, so they're still doing a number on Napoleon. <laughs> I've been to his, I've I've been to Paris, and they've got in the museum they've got his clothes, 
And he's oh, were they small? Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I, maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe it was something else. Maybe like, I'm, I'm sure. doing. Maybe I'm doing uh, revisionist history on Napoleon. Maybe I'm. T <laughs> I'm. Americans apparently only vote for the tallest candidate. Really? Yes. Yeah, so now they've got a choice between two tall old fuckers. <laughs> one of them's. One of them uh, with with true narcissism. Yeah. But it happens to be funny. And and then the other one, people, most people, when they voted for him the first time, you hear that the, the, the people that swung it were the ones who voted for Obama that switched. Right. So loads of people went, oh, I like that Obama fella. And then when he left, they went, oh, don't like any of these other ones. We'll go for the crazy guy. People liked him. No, people don't like him. Even his, apart from the nuts that go to his rallies, those morons. Well, maybe not morons. Who am I to judge? But... <laughs> I think that most people plug their noses and go, I'd prefer that yeah. to that. And also, but he's also funny. So even his most, like you hear people who really hate him, they get very upset. And that's fair enough with the sex crimes and that. Yeah, but yeah. He, um, he, he does make some jokes. <laughs> I think also the impressions that some brilliant comedians do of him have softened me towards him. You know, like when you watch Shane Gillis, do his impression of him I just think oh he seems nice but he's well, that was the because he was they, people enjoyed him on The Apprentice so because oh, they that enjoyed that well. yeah yeah and he popped up in things they kind of went oh yeah it's, yeah it's fine that's Trump he's fine he's fine I don't know why they don't put that RFK in government RFK <laughs> Kennedy you yeah. heard him talk no he's, he's at something something uh affected his voice box some sort of disease he had and he means that he always sounds like he's out of breath Shit. and he can't talk like very loud but he's absolutely jacked <laughs> he's like a 50 60 year old dude and he's ripped i mean how they're not putting him into government so so you just go for the uh, they they vote for the tallest person yeah that's like being at school when you would vote you go oh yeah he's gonna yeah. be good for the team yeah, well, it goes back to us wanting Klitschko in, though. Yeah, 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 because, yeah, so we're the same. But neither neither of those guys are, are very Klitschko-like. Like, no. We, I would like Klitschko. What, but in Britain, what we like to do is we seem to vote in someone with a speech impediment, <laughs> don't we? We love all the prime ministers sound stupid. <laughs> They've this all is got to your ears. That's just our accent. <laughs> the, no, they don't have. They don't sound like any English person I've ever known. Uh, the, 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 there's that one, and then there's. I mean, to be clear, to be clear, like they're all they're they're a class of people I've never met. They're a type. And then Rishi shoot Sunak, you go. Oh, here we go. We got a we got a yeah, uh, immigrants uh, yeah. from an immigrant family in. <clears throat> let's go. That's brilliant. And then he opens his mouth and you go, oh, God, he's become one of them. He's just one of them. Well, he's, that's why he's there, because cause they've gone, right, if we put him in, he can then sign all these forms, put all this legislation through. We'll make a shit ton of money. But it, all, it also does prove the thing, that the theory that, um, that the immigrants or the children of immigrants are often far more conservative than what lib libtards would like to mm. admit. They, they just assume... Everyone's going to be like on the side of the liberals, and that that proves true. But within a generation or two, yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, but so yeah, I was I was hoping for him. I was really gunning on his side, and then and then I heard him speak a couple times, and I thought, ah, oh, I'm checking out again. <laughs> but the Labour Party, the Labour Party, always had someone <laughs> who leads the Labour Party and sounds like that when they say Labour Party. <laughs> Don't they? And he's like, I can't vote for Labour. I mean, they're worse. They talk worse. And they hide their money grabbing. grabbing. Yeah, they do. They pretend they, to be for the people. Yeah. Which is what yeah. the Labour Party is supposed to be. And they're a bunch of anti Semites. <laughs> <laughs> the Labour Party. They do not like the Jewish people. That is a fact. They are not keen on our Jewish brothers and sisters. Oh my god. Do not like that. Do not like that. But that's the Labour Party. He here in the Labour Party <laughs> You can't you can't have that. You know, that's your guy going to well, but one thing you've got to hand it to Britain, though, we do put some ladies in. 
Yes, the we last, do. The last 50 years. Yes, we do. Uh, I for mean, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from old Maggie, she was in for a... Well, Maggie a, a, was in for good, far too long. Good she, old Chuck. But she's, <laughs> she's, she was a little controversial, wasn't she? She was a little controversial. <laughs> <laughs> she, she gave some people uh, the ump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she she really uh, she turned an industrial a, a, a lagging, an industrial. Uh, she she she's flipped it quick. She changed what yeah. the country made yep. from making stuff but being broke and poor into making nothing and some people rich. Yeah, trickle yeah, down. yeah. Trickle. You know, I wonder. Um. Why there wasn't much immigration in the seventies, was there? Because it was Britain was a shithole, wasn't it? It was third yeah. world poverty, wasn't it? it? Was, yeah, that's where I we're love, at now. It's the same. I go, I go on the internet and and deep dive some uh, like BBC documentaries of poverty in Britain, and they go to these slums, and it's it's like the Victorian times. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. I, I've never seen such poverty. <laughs> and and there was this documentary about his family in Birmingham, and I watched it, and I just felt so sad. And then I remembered, oh, that was that was a while ago. So all of their uh, children are doing much better. I yeah, hope. yeah, yeah. You hope so. Do. You hope so. Yeah, but you, well, you're from Canada. You will live in the woods. Well, actually, when my, my uh, dad and all, all those ones that went out from, uh, like... So, like, they're from Ireland, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland. Mm. and they were all poor farmers scraping a living. And there was loads of small farms of people who weren't very good at farming because they were all cleared out of slums <laughs> and sent to populate Canada to try and make, to work the land. So there was, like, a deal. Ah. Britain goes, we've got loads of poor areas. We will ship them all out. You chuck them on a little bit of land, and then you can get your country going, and we can clear these slums. So it's sort of the, what they did with Australia in a way, too. Uh. But, so they were quite poor, 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 poor. Then the Soviet Union, uh, they realized they're not producing much food. So grain prices finally went up in the 70s. So people like me, I grew up, fucking easy does it. But I guess I was first generation of people that wasn't poor. Yeah. So, but brilliant. So, so Canada's economy was kicking along good before. And then when I moved here in 1990, I went, whoa, you guys are a step or two behind. <laughs> you, I, I remember there was like one McDonald's in London or something and oh, Wimpies. Yeah. Remember all the Wimpies? They're still, they're still kicking about, Wimpy. And I remember watching the TV just going, fuck, how are these people survived on this television? But I, it was the same for us in the 70s. We had two channels. Yeah, but then by the time I was a a, a teenager, we started getting ca cable or satellite. Uh, we used to hear about cable in movies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and I remember us watching. They've got snooker on TV, and I yeah. was so dismissive of it. But within a, within an hour, I'm going. This is the best <laughs> best thing I've seen in a long time. Watching snooker in your bed, set depressed. <laughs> and then I discovered that you're all alcoholics, and I thought, well, this is the place for me. <laughs> <laughs> Silence in the court!